Hello everyone, I am Stéphane Zabavi, I'm an actor from Côte d'Ivoire and I play the character Fabrice on Skinny Girls in Transit Season 4 um, the villain that everyone loves to hate <laughs> well the reality of it is Fabrice is just a go-getter you know he's um, the type of guy that just can't take no for an answer and he just saw this beautiful young lady and he had something with her so he's trying to pursue that but he's playing two cards because he's setting up a business and his main main rival on the business side is midday so he's just playing every tricks he got to get to the top and knock him off the top so that's what it is and apparently it's working because he got you guys reacting and uh, calling Fabrice a goat you know but it's okay and I just want to thank you guys for everything that you guys are doing I want to thank you for the support for the love uh, I want to thank you for keeping them views going up and um, Adenike big up to you girl because your reviews are so on point God bless you all Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You already know how we do it. TGIF means SGIT, okay? <laughs> First of all, I need to apologize to you guys. You know I'm always on time <laughs> with my SGIT reaction videos. But what happened was that today, my short film, my first film ever premiered. And that was where I was. That's where I've been since morning. I actually just got home now. I watched SGIT, the new episode now. And I was like, I still have to make this video. So please, bear with me, okay? Am I forgiven? If so, please remember to subscribe if you haven't already done so, all right? Let's talk about the new episode of SGIT. When we regain, when we overtake all that the Kankawam and the Pamawam have eaten, Father, return it in the name of Jesus. Ah, Jesus. Ah, mommy. Ah, mommy. I feel so sad for Shalewa right now because she's, you can tell she's miserable and it's shocking <laughs> because this is Shalewa we are talking about. So this is someone who's always carefree and doesn't care, doesn't care about anyone, you know, it's just all about herself. So for her to actually be mourning a relationship with Mohammed, it kind of tells you that okay, she really does care about Mohammed. I find it interesting that both sisters are actually nursing one form of heartbreak or the other right now, and they can't be there for each other. I think Auntie Dupe is brilliant. You know, her advice to Shaliwa was brilliant. Sometimes the best thing you can do is to do nothing at all. And I think that's what Shaliwa needs to do. In as much as I understand she did what she did hurt Mohammed and what she did was wrong or whatnot. Fine, we've established that she has gone to beg him once. What does Mohammed want for Shalewa to be groveling? No, Shalewa is not going to do that. Shalewa is our queen B. For me, I think Shalewa just needs to relax, let Mohammed be. If he wants to come back, fine. And if he doesn't want to come back, good readings, another person will come. There are many fishes in the ocean. And by the way, when they say there are many fishes in the ocean, it's not just women they refer to, even men. Ladies, don't let any person pepper you. Don't let them tension you into a uh hand. -huh. There are many men out there. You will find your own. Don't go and be begging somebody or dying on top of somebody's matter. You hear? Mommy Tiwa and Mosila, they deserve each other because <laughs> their attitudes and reactions and they just complement each other. Can I please ask again, what is Dewey Sola's problem? Why is she so uptight? Why is she so like... What is wrong with her? She's just so mean and rude and quite frankly, unnecessarily so. I think the person that annoyed me the most in this episode was Mide. The way he just kept laughing. It's just so annoying. Like right now, I feel like Darren Sola is the older sibling and Mide is the younger one because he's acting like a child. So how can your younger sister be disrespecting you, disrespecting your girlfriend, disrespecting, you know, and all you can just do is, <laughs> Darren. Remember last week when we were talking about how Tiwa and Didi's conversation always took place in the studio after Tiwa had been on the radio, blah, blah, blah. Well, this week, their conversation took place in the kitchen or in the break room whatever you want to call it. Um, so I figured, I was like, ah, they saw our comments last week complaining that it's already, it's become a routine. So I liked that they mixed it up a bit. And a lot of people complained last week about Tiwa's choices of clothes and outfits and stuff. And, you know, I have to agree. Our choices of 
outfits aren't so flattering. And that's why, you know, remember the first time we talked about it, I was like, mm, I don't know if that's part of Tiwa's character or if it's Abimbola Craig's choice. I forgot to ask her last time when she made a video to address it. But I feel like they could have chosen better. I mean, see how slayed Shaliwa always looks. Can't they be slaying Tiwa too like that? Or maybe their personalities are different. And so that's why it reflects on our choices of clothes. This episode wasn't so dramatic. It wasn't like gang, gang, with so many things happening. And that's understandable because, like, at some point, you need to, like, calm down a bit because for the past two episodes now, it's been heated with a lot of things going on. So I think we needed to just relax a bit and just get that breathing room. Mommy was fainting was hilarious. I mean, that was epic. What do you guys think? What was the one thing that stood out for you in this episode? Do you like Auntie Dukpe? Me, I like Auntie Dukpe, especially because my mom's name is Mudukpe. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, you know how we do it. Let's continue the conversation down below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already done so and i look forward to reading from you and i'll see you very very soon remaining god god bless you guys bye